Hey everyone, it's Colin from GIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be answering two questions. Why are my zucchini flowers falling off? Right here. And then why am I not getting any zucchini? At the end of this video, I'll also go over some techniques for how to train your zucchini. I'm training mine vertically, just up a hiking pole actually. And then also how to prune them to maximize your airflow and pollination. So first some background. Uh, a few weeks ago, I noticed that I was getting some powdery mildew on my plants. Uh, they look much better now, except for a couple leaves I need to prune. But I thought, oh, I've got some neem oil. This will work great as kind of a fungicide. Well, what I wasn't thinking about was that neem oil is also a pest repellent. So I coated my entire plants with neem oil, flowers, stem, everything included. And then I wondered, hmm, why am I not getting any zucchini? And at first I thought it was a pollination problem because my flowers were falling off. I thought, oh, the neem oil is just repelling all the beneficial insects and pollinators and they're not pollinating my flowers. And actually I was wrong and it was a biology problem. Now what I didn't know was that zucchini actually produce male and female flowers. They don't contain all the ingredients for making a, a fruit in a single flower. So not only does it have to grow a male and a female flower, it also has to pollinate from the male to the female flower. Now I wanna show you the difference between a male and a female flower. So the obvious sign of a female flower is that it has an ovary at the base of the flower. So this is actually, it looks like a baby zucchini because it is. <laughs> and so this flower is gonna bloom and if it gets pollinated, the pollen is going to go into this ovary and then this will produce a zucchini. So here's one that is a little farther along and actually looks like it just got pollinated. You can see the flower is starting to die off and it'll probably fall off in the next couple of days, but we've got our baby zucchini here, which is you know, about the size of my thumb and that will turn into a full-size fruit. Next, we've got the male flower, which if you look at the base of the stem, there is no ovary. There's no baby zucchini there. And so what happens, this male flower is gonna bloom, it's gonna do its job, produce pollen, and then what you're seeing on the ground is all the male flowers that fall off after they've done their job. So I hope that answers your question about why your zucchini flowers are falling off and why you're not getting any zucchini, uh, but now what can we do about it? So right now on all my plants, I probably have 25% female flowers and 75% male flowers. So what I've done is gone through and I've actually snipped off some of the male flowers to encourage more flower growth. That way I'll kind of improve my chances of getting female flowers. You don't want to snip off all the males because then obviously you won't get any fruit. But try to keep it around 50-50 if you can. Um, if you're still not getting any female flowers, just keep snipping off the males until you do. That's really all you can do. Uh, you just gotta let nature take its course. Now I wanna show you how to train zucchini vertically so you can save some garden space. Otherwise, they'll kinda go crazy. So I've got about a five foot garden stake here. Now all I'm doing as the zucchini grows is taking some twine and tying this main stem here to the pole. And just make sure you do it gently because these these uh, leaf, leaf stems are hollow and you don't wanna crush them. Uh, you can see here, it's kinda getting away from me a little bit. Uh, this is the main stem creating new growth there. Uh, so probably today I'll go ahead and tie that back to the pole with twine just so I can keep training it up. The most critical part of growing zucchini vertically is that you have to prune from the bottom up. Otherwise, if you leave this old growth, it's not gonna create this new growth here that we see, which is actually what's gonna extend our growing season. Uh, and also, it's not gonna force that stem upward so we can actually tie it to this post here. So just real quick, I've got a bad leaf here, a couple bad leaves, and they're actually lower on the stem. So you just go ahead and snip them off just like that. Boom, done. And then we'll take this one here. Try not to cut into the other one. And boom, done. So other than growing your zucchini vertically, another benefit of pruning is that it improves your airflow. So this kind of cuts down your fungal disease and just kind of keeps your plant healthier as a whole. Uh, so you can actually cut off probably, if you haven't pruned zucchini yet, you can cut off about 30 or 40% of your zucchini leaves, starting obviously from the old growth. Uh, and your plant will be just fine. So looking behind me, uh, you can see I've got some big leaves here, but I've also got a lot of new growth uh, inside here. You can see this new, new shoot is coming off and it's got some smaller leaves. Uh, so what I can do is actually take off some of these bigger leaves. So I'm gonna take off this one right here. Even though this one looks perfectly healthy, once this new growth starts coming in and getting larger, uh, it's gonna restrict airflow and it's gonna get really crowded. So no airflow and po no pollinator visibility. We'll do a couple more on this. Uh, the other thing, you don't want overlapping leaves. So you can see uh, this leaf is kind of overlapping on this one. So I'm just gonna cut this one off as well. And I am gonna cut out a couple of these small ones in here since it's getting pretty crowded. So there we go. Already you can see that the flowers are gonna be more visible to the pollinators. And right here, this is all the new growth. This is where my flowers are gonna be, so I wanna make sure that's plenty visible. Now you can see behind me, it's much clearer. I've cut off probably 20 or 30% of the leaves on this. 
um, but it's still gonna be super healthy, if not more healthy than it was before. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope it answered your questions on why your zucchini flowers are dropping, why you're not getting any zucchini, and hopefully I gave you some steps you can take to improve your zucchini harvest this year. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button, and until next time, keep growing it yourself.